There we go guys Grand Theft Auto 4 has successfully started Okay will it work Oh my god guys it actually booted Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here Welcome back to a long awaited series Where I'll be testing out the latest win later 8.0 On my low end android device Now in today's video we'll be testing out more games than we did before On my iQ Z6 Lite Which has 5.4 GB of RAM And a Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor With Adreno 619 GPU You guys can see I have already loaded the win later 8.0 On my android device I'll be showing you guys the best settings for this windows emulator so that you can play games even on your low end android devices along with that test out brand new games which you never tested out previously with that being said let me start off by showing you guys the performance preset that we'll be using for today's video in terms of the preset we'll just go ahead and uh, select performance preset duplicate it afterwards tap on the edit button and make sure to set the safe flags level to zero and then tap on the ok button that's about it we have created our performance preset now we'll simply create a brand new container and you will be able to notice this device is properly laggy like it takes some time for it to register touches just take a look at this for today's video we'll be using the latest 24.2.0 turnip graphics driver now note all of these graphics drivers are not stable so if you face any errors you can go with the default turnip driver anyways dx wrapper will be using the 2.4 default version and just take a look at this the animations are so laggy for some reasons after the win later 8.0 update this did not happen previously so i am very excited to see how well will it work out and we also have audio driver configurations now where we can adjust the volume as well as latency nonetheless video memory size will set it to 4 gb afterwards go to advanced settings and here make sure to Set the preset as performance 1 which we just created, windows version as windows 10 and all processor affinities tick mark. Once that has been done, we are all set to start testing games in our brand new WinLater 8.0 windows emulator on a low end android device. So let me show you guys the games that we'll be testing out in today's video. By the way, I forgot to show you guys screen size or resolution will set it to 960 by 544p. And here are all the games that we'll be testing out in today's video. We got Assassin's Creed Rogue, Grand Theft Auto 4, GTA Vice City just cost 2 need for speed most wanted amazing spider-man 2 and if all of these games work then you know that win later 8.0 has improved quite a lot with that being said let's start with the first game that is going to be the just cost 2 now for just cost 2 you'll need to set a different version of dx wrapper if your game does not load for example let me just go ahead and launch this game on my low end device and show you guys if it works or not and you guys can see it is showing me a direct text error now to fix this you simply need to exit the game and this is specifically for those who want to play games a bit old games like just cause we'll go to dx wrapper and set the dxvk version to 0.96 and this will make sure that our game will successfully boot and here we go guys as i said previously our game now successfully boots on my android device you can simply change dxvk versions if you face any sort of errors there we go square enix and one great thing about win later 8.0 is the fact that virtual gamepad works perfectly in all games so let me just go ahead and press the a button and there we go we can start a brand new game at the top left corner you will be able to see the fps that we are getting but I am pretty sure that it will drop down quite a lot once the game actually starts. Here we go guys, the game has successfully started and actually, actually I am not even joking, the performance is pretty amazing. I tested out this same game in WinLater 5.0 or 6.0 on the same low-end Android device and I was literally getting 4 to 5 FPS. But now there has been almost 300% increase in terms of FPS or 200% because we are getting 12 to 18 FPS while running this game. Just take a look at these graphics, they are proper sharp like literally more than what you would see on a PC screen and it is properly emulatable on a low end android device though it is not a playable gameplay experience at least it works right but unfortunately just cause 2 is one of the least optimized games that we'll be trying out in today's video and this is actual gameplay by the way everything is being rendered properly all the 3d graphics even the audio output is working with that being said let's just go ahead and close this game and just take a look at how laggy my device has become so yeah guys emulating games on a low end android device is no joke and still some people dare me to emulate games like gta 5 on this device well we'll do that only if gta 4 works so the next game that we'll be testing out is need for speed most wanted another one of the games that i have not tested out before in win later android and here we go guys just like that need for speed most wanted 2012 is also about to start this is the 2012 game not the 2005 so it has very high graphics and this was one of my favorite games to play in the old days on my uh, low end laptop which I used to have. By the way I have resetted the DXVK version to DXVK 2.4 
and there we go the first crashing issue which we just saw let me restart the game and see if it works or not i am pretty sure it should definitely work but because this device only has 5.4 gp of ram it's not even the issue of processor it's just that the ram is very less out of the 5.4 gp of available ram only 2 gp is actually usable and if i go back and open task manager you will be able to see nfs most wanted is using almost 700 plus mb of ram and that's the main reason why you might face some crashing issues anyways let's see if it works this time or not so guys here's the moment of truth i'll just go and press any key and once again there is a crashing issue so i guess it's not going to work on my low end android device uh, that was very unfortunate because i know if you have at least 8 gb of ram that game should definitely work on your android device anyways the next game that we'll be trying out is going to be the amazing spiderman 2 which previously gave very terrible fps results the game wouldn't even boot on the other versions of win later which i tested out previously but is win later 8.0 better than them let's find out well i am immediately seeing very low fps at the top left corner but there we go the game will start successfully and i am pretty sure it should be playable on this low end device the audio output also works properly nonetheless let me just go and skip everything and directly enter the game and there we go press start to begin so i'll press any button and let's see if the fps is actually playable All right not bad at all I am definitely seeing some improvements uh, well in 3D worlds I I am thinking that I should get around at least 10 to 15 fps while controlling the character but from what i am seeing it's actually great like there are no graphical issues this is a bit surprising don't forget that uh, the game which we are playing right now is supposed to be one of the triple a title of its own time and i am getting around 12 to 15 fps which is pretty amazing but there we go guys our game has successfully started and you will be able to notice that the graphics are pretty cool but the fps drop is crazy like just take a look at this <laughs> we are getting almost 10 to 11 fps when we are looking up but once we start moving our character the frame drop is crazy we are only getting like 5 to 10 fps but still a triple a title playable on a low end android device if you are fan of spider man games you can try the older version of this game and it will run perfectly fine if you have a snapdragon 4 gen 1 processor anyways with that being said let me just go and try out our next game for that we'll go to task manager and terminate this process all right guys the next game that we'll be playing in today's video is going to be the assassin's creed rogue another one of those games which i have tested out previously on my low end android device but uh, update means improvement in performance and stability that's what we are here for we want to see if the performance has improved than previously and if we get more fps than before So I have opened the game successfully and you will be able to see it is about to launch. Let's just go and start a brand new game. Once again this is an hand game to be honest and if it is playable with great FPS then I would be really impressed. So I'll enter any random game and I'll be back once the game actually starts. So there we go guys the game has successfully started and I have to say it's not the best performance that I have seen uh, of this game running on my low end Android device. At least during this flying cut scene uh, I have seen Will later Glipsy perform pretty well. but if we can manage to get around 20 to 30 fps when i can actually control the main character then i would be very satisfied with the improvement in performance if not then there hasn't really been much improvement in terms of fps and performance uh, but the stability has increased quite a lot that's going to be 100% a main factor while emulating games on these low end android devices you want the emulator to be as stable as possible but there we go the game has successfully started and at the top left corner you will be able to see i am getting around 26 fps so there we go guys now we can actually control our character and the fps has dropped down to 17 or 18 not that bad at all uh, but in my opinion it's just like the fps which we were getting previously though once the shaders are compiled the game becomes quite smooth but you will be able to see the delay of when i swipe my uh, finger across the screen there is quite a lot of delay which means the game is lagging a little bit nonetheless it is actually a very playable gameplay experience like i know many laptops that don't even give this much fps on assassin's creed rogue and we are managing to extract all of it from this little device with snapdragon 4 gen 1 processor which literally costs like 150 or 170 dollars with all of that out of the way let's test out our final game which is going to be the grand theft auto 4 
on my low end android device and it has ran previously properly on this device i think in win later glipsy version but i am unsure of the official win later android so let's find out if it actually works or not this is the same version of gta 4 that i test out in all of my videos and at the beginning i got a white screen i thought that the game had crashed but no guys Uh, the game was just being loaded so yeah definitely on low end devices you are stressed out to see if the game actually boots or not but there we go guys grand theft auto 4 has successfully started on my low end android device let me just go and tap on the play button and see how well does it actually work to start off let me modify some of the graphic settings so that we get the best amount of performance possible i'll just go and turn all of the settings down to off or low level Afterwards apply the settings and go back. Now we can start testing out if this game works or not. So let's find out guys how well will GTA 4 work on a low end android device inside of the Winlater 8.0 if it actually works that is. And here we go guys it's showing me starting a new game the Cousins Belix. So I think this game will actually boot which hasn't been done before at least in the normal versions of Winlater as well as if I tried it out on Winlater Frost the game used to crash completely during the loading screen. I'll just go and press the A button multiple times and let's see how well will this game work. Okay, will it work? Oh my god, guys, it actually booted. GTA 4 actually booted on this low end Android device and the FPS which we are getting is not that bad at all. Like literally for the worst optimized game of all time, we are getting around anywhere from 9 to 15 to 22 FPS and I am pretty sure that there are many 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 laptops which can't even run GTA 4 properly even if it is an actual PC or laptop. and this tiny little mobile is able to run it at almost 20 to 30 fps just imagine you can add like low end device and optimization mods in GTA 4 uh, and the fps will increase quite a lot even more than what we are getting and just imagine you pull up to your friends and <laughs> open win later android and launch GTA 4 that will be the coolest moment they will be like what the actual heck is going on man GTA 4 on a android device that to even on a low end android device never seen before so yeah guys be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel testing out windows emulators for android anyways i'll see you guys next time though thanks for watching goodbye